Busan, South Korea. It's a beautiful day here in Busan. We're gonna go do on the street. I found this lovely young, young woman back here. Hi, what's your name? Well, she doesn't want to talk much, but that's okay. We're gonna find some people on the street who do want to talk. We're gonna talk about their life here in Korea. So, that's on on the street. Stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I will see you around. We are on the street, but not exactly on the street. I was I was walking the streets all day and decided to pop into my friend Tegan's house. How are you, Tegan? I'm great. Nice to be here. And hello, everybody. All right. Yeah. So, so Tegan, how was your day? Today, not so bad. Pretty nice. How about oh, you? Um, you know, um, it's the life of a videographer, okay. going place to place, looking for things to do. Looking for people to film. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you're here now at my cat cafe. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We have we have like three three cats that are here, right? We have a uh, one cat. Two, yeah. They three. might make an appearance in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe well, we well, my cat camera. does that too. Every once in a while, I'm trying to film, and he's running around. Running around. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so I, I thought today we we we'd talk a little bit about uh, about your travel experience. Okay. About so, so what what's the best place you've gone to while you're in Asia? In Asia, the best place I've gone. I went backpacking about ten years ago, and I went oh. from I started in Vietnam, and then I went to Cambodia, Laos, mm. Thailand, Singapore. So I think that's like a very, very All in awesome. backpacking? Yeah, while wow. backpacking. So that's a long trip. Yeah, so about a month or so. Um, and I thought walking walking over here was a long trip and you <laughs> you do you do what? Two weeks or Yeah. How long did it take? It was it was about a month, but about a month? Wow. yeah. That was a long time ago. I actually haven't traveled so much recently, especially because of COVID. Yeah. So mostly just within Korea I've been traveling. So hmm. actually two weeks ago I hmm. went to Jirisan. Mm -hmm. And I did. Have you ever been to Jirisan? Jirisan? No, no. No? No, I haven't. So Jirisan is really great. It's the highest mountain on mainland Korea. So besides, uh, we have Halasan on Jeju Island, which is the tallest, but actually mm -hmm. Jirisan is the highest on mainland Korea. So mm. I did a 34K trail run there. So mm. that was really awesome. So I guess in recent travel, Jirisan is the best place mm. I've been to. Oh. Well, you told us on talk, talk on the Table, you do a lot of cross country biking. Yeah. Have you been able to do that lately? I uh, yeah, recently too. I also did a little bit of the Seoul to Busan bike trail. So I did. Oh, we have some things falling off the table. <laughs> we I did just like part of it from about Gumi down to Busan. So hmm. about two hundred k or so. Yeah. Well, well, if you if you want to know, Gumi is near Daegu. Yeah. So I <laughs> did that recently, and this weekend, actually on Friday, I'm going to be running doing a hundred k race from. Hmm. Busan, starting at Ulsokdo, which is mm -hmm. located kind of near Hadan, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to be running to Miryang. So wow. I'm going to be going all across that area. You're going to you're going to stop and slow down a bit. You're not going to run the entire time, right? Um, as much as possible, yeah. <laughs> So try to run as much as possible and get there in the quickest time I can possibly get well, there. Well, that's that's the way you do it. Yeah. yeah. So, but we will stop usually. So it's actually a running race. Um, the first 50k is flat, and then we stop mm -hmm. and we eat mm -hmm. miyakuk, and then we finish. The last part is really hilly, so just get through the last part uh, as fast as I can. But probably will walk a bit of it. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what what kind of interesting sites that, sites have you seen mm -hmm. in your touring of Korea or Asia um, in general? Well, in Asia in general, I guess when you go to like Laos, you see there's lots of really beautiful areas and monks and mm -hmm. beautiful temples that you're gonna see. Um, I guess in Korea particularly, I really like to go to the mountains. Once again, there's also a lot of temples on the mountains. Huh. And since my hobby is triathlon, that requires water. So often yeah. I travel to places near the water. So oh. I guess places where I can exercise, places near the water, anywhere that has some fun sports for me to do, I, uh -huh. I want to go there. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, I've been to Anchor Wat. Yeah, Anchor Wat's a great Anchor, one. Anchor Wat's great. Yeah. It's uh, not, not really near, like, Sea water, but yeah. they do have nice, nice lakes there and everything. Have you gone? I went to Angkor Wat, yeah, when I was doing my backpacking trip. I think it was so beautiful and such a cool place. And mm -hmm. yeah, definitely, it takes more than like one day to just check it out. So I was there, I oh, think, yeah. about like three days or so. But you could spend a little, really long time there. Yeah, I was there for two days. Mm. Mm. Did you go and watch the sunrise? 
No, I, I don't wake up that early. <laughs> <laughs> but I did see sunset. Okay, sunset's also really beautiful there. Yeah, but um, did you go in the winter or the summer? Um, it was December, so December. I, I think it's it's still really warm there. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I went uh, in September, mm -hmm. uh, right in the rainy season. Mm -hmm. So I got to see the floating village there. Did, did ah, you see that? I didn't go to the floating village. The floating village and all its floating glory. Oh. In the in the dry in the dry uh, parts uh -huh. dry parts of the year, you can walk across and everything. Uh -huh. But in the rainy season, the river overflows. So it's really floating. Yeah, everything's floating. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't get to see that, but that sounds cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, nice. All right. Well, I think that's all the time we have today. So, uh, so it's thank you for having me over here. Yeah, thank you for coming, and I hope that you guys <laughs> watching can check out some really cool places in Asia, like in in Korea, Jirisan, or if you have a chance, you can go to Cambodia and see <laughs> Angkor Wat. So. Yeah, I really like oh. all those places. Okay, well, well, thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. All thank right. you. Okay, bye. Have bye, a nice bye. Day. Unfortunately, Tegan was the only one we can interview this week. Sometimes things like that happen. We'll make it up to you next time. We'll probably do three people. Anyhow, if you like what she had to say, please check her out on BEFM. That's 90.5 FM. I'll leave a link in the description to BEFM so you can easily listen online. Well, if you like what we have to say, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and also we just opened our Discord. So drop by our Discord and uh, leave us a message, chat with us, have a good time, request some stuff, all that good stuff. Well, this is Danny. Until next time, this has been On The Street.